Hey Gameologists, today we're going to be showing you guys how to get through the dungeon hidden path to the Halleck Tree, as well as getting the Black Flame Monk Ammon Summon. So if you guys are ready, let's go ahead and jump straight into this. So if you take a look at the map, it's going to be in the northeast location, the section that allows you to go from the Forbidden Lands area to the Consecrated Snowfield. Starting off from the Point of Grace, or the Site of Grace, rather, we're going to head down the stairs. You're going to be met with a group of enemies. There's going to be these little land octopuses here. You're going to grab the Grave Glow Vort number 9. Now what these do is it allows you for upgrading standard Spirit Ashes, which is going to be super, super useful to upgrade your Spirit Ashes even beyond what they already are. Be careful right here, there's going to be a giant land octopus that is going to drop down. If you do have any Pokeballs on you, go ahead and throw one, capture it. Oh wait, sorry, that's uh, the wrong game, I guess. Go ahead and slash it up, or I guess if you're a mage, cast some spells at it. Whatever works for you, be wary of these little guys here. They're quite annoying, but you might be already familiar with them, as there is some rune farming methods that you may have used, uh, and you've already, you know, kind of encountered these enemies. If you head down these stairs right here, there's going to be one more. You can just sneak up behind it and uh, assassinate it. Quick little easy kill. After that, you're going to head back around, and there's this little kind of opening right in the ledge here. You're going to drop down. Down. Don't worry, we're not leading you to your death. There's going to be an invisible platform that you're going to fall onto, and then you're going to go, go through this uh, archway over here. If you hang a right, there's more glow for it, grave glow for it, number nine. Hack and slash that wall to reveal a hidden chest, and inside of it, you're going to find some great loot. It's going to be the silver scarab. What this allows you to do is raises item discovery. Super, super useful to uh, have indeed. We're going to head back, and we're going to follow this path, invisible path, all the way to the other end. And of course, as per usual, you're going to be met with some more enemies. So make sure you hack and slash them to death or again, whatever you're using doesn't really matter as long as you get the upper hand and you kill them. There's about three of them. You're going to go ahead. You're going to pick up this item here off this corpse and it is going to be the sacramental uh, bud times three. Again, you're going to get three sacramental buds. If you head back out here and you hang a little bit of a right, you can see there's another path just down here. Of course, an enemy blocking the way. So go ahead and take care of it. It will see you. So you got definitely got to be a little bit careful. I know that's tempting to just run in here, but there is going to be a little enemy kind of tucked away in the corner. They like to tuck away these enemies hidden in corners, so always be wary of that and uh, whatnot. And at the very end, of course, you're going to get another Grave Glow Vort number nine. Super, super useful stuff. Now, we're going to head back. We're going to hang a direct right. And when we drop down here, you're going to pillage this corpse and you're going to get a Hero's Rune, which is going to net you a lot of runes if you cash it in. So you might want to save it for a rainy day. At this point, you're going to go ahead and jump through this window and we're going to drop down you can see the giant land octopus hanging from the ceiling so do be wary of that as it will drop down as you get near and it's uh, going to block the lever there's going to be a lever of course as per every dungeon and that is going to be to of course unlock the boss fight uh, the boss room rather so you're going to have to get rid of this giant land octopus you have no choice of course you're going to also be able to pillage the dead corpse underneath it or i guess sort of behind it and that corpse is also going to give you an item so we're going to go ahead and finish off this giant land octopus there are a couple of other little enemies just kind of hanging around as per uh, the rest of the dungeon go ahead pillage this corpse to get an old fang times six and then you're going to go ahead you're also going to grab the land octopus over if it uh, does drop from the uh, giant land octopus pull the lever and that's going to unlock the uh the boss door we're going to drop down directly behind here there's going to be a group of little land octopuses or little annoying pests as i like to call them and we're going to go ahead and just uh, take care of them they're not too difficult to kill the little ones are a lot easier to kill than the giant ones the giant ones tend to be a little bit more of a problem but even then, I'm sure that you will do just fine. If you head right under here, there's going to be a few more of those little guys that we've, uh, you know, encountered throughout this dungeon. You can go ahead and kind of stealth kill one or two of them. You might get caught. If you do, just take care of them. I'm sure you'll, you'll do fine. You'll be good. It's all good. And there's going to be a couple things that we're going to grab down here while we're here. So there's, uh, you can see a corpse right here which we're going to pillage and that's going to give us root resin times four so go ahead and heal if you need to and we're going to go ahead and leave this uh, area we're going to go straight down this corridor that you can see right in front of us and that's going to typically lead us to the boss room but you're not going to want to go there yet because there's going to be something nice to grab so head to the right first follow this path it's a linear path so there's nothing really to you know get lost or anything like that it's going to be an elevator you're going to hop onto so go ahead 
and uh, drop onto that elevator to bring you up to the top because there is going to be something glowing, nice shiny glow. We all love that that bright kind of purplish glow, don't we? And when you pick that up, you're going to get the Spelldrake Talisman plus two. Now, what the Spelldrake Talisman plus two does is it gives you plus 20% magic damage negation. So that could be useful for certain builds, of course. And if that uh, is useful for you, you can go ahead and equip it or just keep it in your inventory. Do whatever you want, but head back down the elevator. Take this path all the way back down and we're going to go between the statues through the giant boss door that is now open from pulling the lever earlier. And at the very bottom, you can see the fog is now here. So you're going to, of course, go through the fog to enter the boss fight, which is going to be the Stray Mimic Tier. Now, the Stray Mimic Tier is going to, of course, copy exactly what you are. Your armor, your gear, your weapons, everything that you have, it will have. Now, here's a little hint, a little tip for you. If you enter this room completely butt naked just your underwear uh the, the mimic tier is going to basically be in its underwear it's going to have nothing it's going to have no gear you can quickly equip whatever gear you want on and you can basically have a very very easy easy fight against this uh against this boss it's going to be super easy or you can just leave it as is and just see how it is to fight yourself if you want a little bit of a nostalgic reminiscence of the days from the legend of zelda ocarina of time if any of you've ever played that in the water temple when link faces himself kind of the same concept right to an extent anyways once you defeat this boss what you're gonna get of course is the black flame monk Ammon summon now of course open up this chest you're gonna get a death root times one and that is everything to get in this dungeon you can go ahead and leave through that portal right there and that's it you got all the loot that there is to get in this dungeon well, as for the Black Flame Monk Ammon Summon, it costs 115 HP, and the description reads that Ammon swore fealty to the god slaying Black Flame, and so became the first Fire Monk to turn traitor. Or perhaps it is better said that he fled from the Giants' Flame out of cowardice. The summon wields a very large long sword type of weapon, and although, like I said, there are te technically some better summons to use, this one does some pretty decent work, and most people, like I said, seem to put it as an a tier spirit summon. Well, that is the hidden path of the Halig Tree Dungeon. All there is to get it, all the little nooks and crannies, all the secrets, all the great loot, and of course, the Black Flame Monk Ammon Summon. Let us know what you think of this dungeon and all of this loot, including this summon down in the comment section below. And as per usual, be sure to like Gameology on Facebook and subscribe on YouTube. Until the next one, Gameologists, game on.